Now, video games are generally, by their nature, pretty straightforward. Whether it's getting to a goal or killing an enemy, the objectives given are simple enough for the player to understand, in the most case, at least. But a crafty gamer can go beyond what is expected and discover secrets and shortcuts. And as the latter implies, they shorten the game's length and are used in events such as speedruns and in rather difficult scenarios. Now, though some are hidden by developers, others have been created by skilled players themselves. Examples include alternative paths that skip in entire segments, glitches that allow you to pass through areas, or even hidden dialogue that can trigger special cutscenes. Bottom line, video game shortcuts reward you for the hours spent playing and for the effort it takes to accomplish them. So of course, there are definitely some of those that you have obviously missed. So let's take a look at them. As I'm Jules, this is WhatCulture.com, and these are 10 more secret video game shortcuts you definitely missed. Number 10. Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 – Silver's Ball Puzzle <sighs> Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 is the video game that derailed the popular franchise. Many have talked about the title, and suffice to say, it does live up to its terrible reputation. Or should that be lived down? I never know. One of the new additions to the game was Silver the Hedgehog, who came from a post-apocalyptic future. Now, his primary gameplay gimmick was his telekinetic powers, which he used to lift objects and destroy enemies. Now, while this sounds cool in concept, Sonic 06 was released in an unfinished state, and because of this, the physics, well, they are wonky. A notorious example of this is during the level Dusty Desert, where Silver has to solve several puzzles by telekinetically pushing balls into the right hole. The problem here, though, is that these objects are hard to control due to the game's technical issues. This can be very frustrating for players, as the last segment involves completing a challenging puzzle to unlock the door to the very end of the room. But thankfully, because the game is, like I said, broken, well, you can break it some more. Crafty players can actually skip this area entirely by lifting metal boxes and placing them near the locked door. Using Silver's hover ability, he can then stand on top of these boxes and lift himself past the edge of the door to clip through the level geometry. By exploiting this tactic, you'll finish the level without even breaking a sweat. Thank God. Number 9. SSX3 Metro City Now, can we just start by saying we do not talk enough about SSX3. It is… oh, it's so good! Now, for those not in the know and who can't see the footage on screen, SSX is a snowboarding game that is set on a fictional mountain where players can perform tricks and very flashy moves. And one of the stages, Metro City, is beloved for its visuals, track design, as well as the endless amount of shortcuts it offers. Now, the city features a standard track, while secret pathways are carefully hidden within the area. One example is the subway shortcut, which is almost as big as the main track. To access this, players need to think outside the box and go through an out-of-bound sign. Then you have to speed up to gain enough momentum to perform a very high jump, and successfully doing this move will allow players to go past a tall building and access the Metro City subway where you can ride through the train tracks. The subway trick is just one of many ways that SSX3 rewards players willing to experiment. This, alongside the other hidden pathways, is why the series is so beloved. And while there have been many shortcuts in racing games, it is rare to find ones that open up to entirely new tracks quite like this. Number 8. Portal – Test Chamber 14 Now, Portal is one of the most loved games in Valve's pantheon of titles. As Chell, players use the Portal gun to complete numerous objectives given by GLaDOS, and these levels test your puzzle-solving skills, another reason why the game is so memorable. But though inventive and addictive, these puzzles can also be very difficult. Thankfully, one way to circumvent these levels is by using the game's physics. By combining Portal's as well as Chell's momentum, players can propel themselves in specific directions. And one great example of this feature is in Test Chamber 14, where you have to complete a series of objectives while avoiding stage hazards. But if the player is feeling a bit impatient, well, this area can be bypassed entirely. If Chell is on top of a platform, she can place a portal below whilst also placing another one near the chamber's exit. By jumping off the elevator position and into the first portal, she can propel herself to the other side of the room and skip the level entirely. The use of the game's physics engine is not just exclusive to Test Chamber 14 and can be utilized on other levels, and indeed mastering these mechanics is crucial to surviving Portal itself, but here it was just so memorable that it had to be included. Number 7. Fallout 2 – Navarro Run Fallout 2's wasteland is a dangerous and unforgiving place. With numerous irradiated creatures and enemies, 
it can definitely be a tough experience for new players. And the opening hours of both Fallout 1 and 2 are understandably challenging, but thankfully this can be remedied somewhat in the sequel with the Navarro Run. Now, Navarro is a late game area gated by your progress in the main questline, but you can actually get here earlier by investing in agility and perception points. The path to the base is filled with high level enemies which can kill you in a single encounter, but if you save, reload, and basically save scum the hell out of agility and perception stats, you can avoid them entirely, and upon your arrival you will encounter Chris who is a member of the Enclave. Passing a high speech and charisma check grants you access to the base as well as some power armor and advanced weaponry. It's a Fallout staple and this new equipment will help make the game much more manageable against the terrors of the wasteland. And while this may be not recommended as it removes tension from the early game, the Navarro run is here for those who need it. Number 6. The Forgotten City – The True Suspect the Forgotten City is a video game based on a popular Skyrim mod. The story throws you into the past in an ancient city filled with colorful characters. However, because of the golden rule, if one person commits a sin, the city's statues come to life and kill everyone, including you. Thankfully, the city has been cursed with an endless time loop so players can learn from their mistakes and repeat the day over and over. And this is why the magistrate, Sentius, tasks you with finding out who is breaking the golden rule and why. Playing through the game's story or reading spoilers reveals that Sentius is one of the game's main villains. He has allowed citizens to commit sins so that he can be trapped in an endless time loop which has made him immortal. With that knowledge in mind, eager players can actually kill him early which leads to the game's first ending. But there's a warning here for those that do, because while killing Sentius might seem satisfying, it causes a time paradox and sends you back to the present. From there you meet a specific character and realize a terrible truth. Because of Sentius's death in the past, you you are trapped in the Forgotten City forever and are doomed to a slow and painful death. Though using this shortcut finishes the game, it's an example of why the short and easy road isn't always the best one. Number 5. Left 4 Dead – No Mercy Now, Left 4 Dead is the classic co-op multiplayer title that was released in 2008, and as one of the four survivors, you are tasked with fighting through the infected horde in order to reach safe houses. Along the way, players will encounter panic events, as well as special types of infected with unique abilities. And whether with a fellow player or an AI ally, the game provides a fair challenge on the lower difficulties, and on the higher ones the experience can be, well, an absolute nightmare. Thankfully, for those who want to avoid danger, the apartment section in No Mercy has a cheeky shortcut. The level starts you off on the apartment rooftop, but below is an air conditioner that leads to the street area. With the proper timing, a survivor can leap off the building and land on the unit. Though it will deal some damage, it also allows you to skip through the apartments section completely. This can help avoid the horde during higher difficulties and is often used during speedruns. One thing to note, however, is that this shortcut is not present in the game's versus mode to make it fair for the playable infected, and has also been removed in Left 4 Dead 2, so maybe check before you jump. Number 4. Silent Hill – No Ammo, No Boss 1999 Silent Hill is known for its creepy tone and atmosphere. As Harry Mason, you enter the town to find your daughter, but instead discover a survival horror experience like no other, as the area is filled with skinless monsters and is masked by an endless fog. This adds to the game's difficulty, as the fog adds a layer of tension and uncertainty, and the title is considered one of the best in the genre and has spawned numerous sequels. And the original game's final boss has a lightning blast that will severely damage Harry and can be an absolute painful for players. Of course, being the last hurdle, the difficulty spike is quite understandable, but if you don't feel like you're up for it, the game surprisingly well, it helps you out. Before entering the final area, make sure that Harry doesn't have any ammo left, or you can choose to keep the bullets but ensure you don't have the weapon for it. With no available means to defend yourself, the boss, well, it just dies, rather than subject players to a one-sided fight. There is some debate whether or not this was a glitch or something programmed in by the developers themselves, but regardless, it is one of the few instances when a video game shows mercy to the player. Number 3. Crash Bandicoot – Walking a Tight Rope Crash Bandicoot is a challenging platformer, however you cut it. Though it starts off deceptively easy, the game soon becomes a real hurdle with numerous pitfalls and obstacles that get in your way. And among the Naughty Dog trilogy, the first one of these hurdles is definitely the hardest and can leave inexperienced players completely frustrated. One of the most infamous segments in the game are the rope levels. The high road and road to nowhere require Crash to traverse through a suspended rope bridge, and as an added challenge, there are unstable wood panels as well as enemies that you'll encounter that just ignore them, just run over the terrain like it's not there. 
I'm not bitter about this at all. These levels require the player to have complete mastery over the controls as well as execute precise platforming. Failing to do so can lead to your untimely demise. Thankfully though, one way to beat this is through a shortcut where Crash can jump on the ropes themselves. On top of these, players won't ever need to worry about facing any hurdles and you can simply walk straight to the finish line. Now this was a feature in the PlayStation original and it also works in the recent Ensane trilogy, though the remake definitely has made this tougher, and this is because rather than flat surfaces, the ropes have been rendered as cylinders which makes slipping off a lot easier. Still, with a few tries, walking on the ropes can still be done and will aid you in completing these levels. Number 2. Mass Effect – Convincing Saren the original Mass Effect puts players in the shoes of Commander Shepard. As humanity's first spectre, they are tasked with hunting down Saren, a spectre turned traitor, and to aid in their mission, the commander recruits allies of different races to stop the alien's plan. You eventually square off against Saren in the game's final hours, which can be challenging as the Turian can incapacitate your teammates, but if you put the work into the game, this boss fight can actually be skipped entirely. Shepard can convince the Turian to stand down with enough Paragon or Renegade points. In the resulting cutscene that plays out, Saren realizes that he's been a pawn all along and even shoots himself. Now, using the dialogue options in this game is one of the best aspects of Mass Effect, as it can have multiple outcomes. Having enough points can not only persuade NPCs, but apparently can even skip challenging combat situations such as this. From a narrative perspective, this shortcut also adds depth to the villain's character. By being convinced to stand down, he regains his agency to die on his own terms. Now, admittedly, you'll still have to fight him in the second phase, but still Still, skipping the first bit definitely helps. And number one, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater The End Dies. Now, I know that we've covered this a lot. I know we've covered this game a lot. But we're going to go through it one more time for those in the back because apparently we didn't actually cover it on the first list. Aside from its stealth based gameplay, the Metal Gear Solid series is also known for breaking the fourth wall from time to time. Famous examples include the fight against Psycho Mantis, where he can read the player's memory card and even name drops famous Konami titles such as Castlevania. And the series' clever use of the PlayStation hardware continues in Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater during the battle with an elderly man named The End. For the uninitiated, the fight can definitely be difficult, as it takes place in open areas where the boss can just snipe Naked Snake over and over. Luckily though, the fight can be avoided by loading a weak old save or setting your PS2 clock a week forward. Doing so leads to a scene where Naked Snake finds the end dead from old age. Alternatively, the end can also be killed in an early portion of the game where you can snipe the old man from afar. Regardless, the end dying anticlimactically prompts Snake to express his disappointment about not being able to fight him. These two Two shortcuts are one of the rare moments in video games where the title actually calls out the player for their actions. And there we go my friends, those were 10 more secret video game shortcuts you definitely missed. I hope that you enjoyed that and please let me know what you thought about it down in the comment section below. As always I've been Jules, you can go follow me over on Twitter at RetroJ but the O is a zero, or you can swing by Instagram where it's the same handle, RetroJ but the O is a zero. Hope to see you over there my friend. But before I go, I just want to say one thing. Sometimes in life, being kind to yourself, both physically, spiritually, and mentally, it can be very hard. And I can't exactly sit here and tell you that there's a shortcut to happiness, but what I can tell you is that you deserve all the best things in life, like love, happiness, and success. And don't let anything or anyone else tell you otherwise, all right? I know that it can be a long and difficult road, but remember, you're not alone. You've got friends, family, professionals in the support industry who care about you and want you to do well, all right? So speak about your problems, let your voice be heard, and I just wish nothing but the best for you, okay? As always, I've been Jules, you have been awesome. Never forget that, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.